Hey guys, this is Fabulous Abby, and today I'm going to be doing an art tutorial. Finally, finally, an art tutorial. And the thing that we're going to be trying is a beautiful, majestic, exotic, colorful box jellyfish. I love box jellyfish. They're my first favorite sea animal in the world. They're uh, so amazing. And their sting can kill up to for in up to five minutes. So don't be swimming in Australia anytime soon. Okay, so on with the art. The picture that I have right here, I drew it, and um, it looks like this. It might be a little hard to tell because it's kind of light, and I did it on lime paper and teal. So anyway, the first step that you want to do is to draw your box jellyfish. So it looks like this. As you can see, I did very flowing and majestic tentacles because they're very flowing and majestic. They, and then the box, the reason it's called a box jellyfish is because the cap kind of looks like a box a little bit. So yeah, and then you wanna mix up your paint. The paint that I have here is a mix of this metallic purple and then this white. And then it makes something like this. So this isn't the color of a real box jellyfish, but I like to be creative. And then the color of paper that I have it on, cardstock, is sky blue. So yeah. Okay, so first what you wanna do is you wanna take your brush, mine's kinda, of, so it has like, it has a stiff side, and then you wanna outline your jellyfish. your finger to smooth it out a bit perfect and now you want to draw it put the inside of it like this so you want to do this a bit faster perfect just want to get all of it all in here like that Okay, so, and now we're gonna be doing the tentacles, which are kind of hard to draw, kind of hard to do, because you have to have each tentacle very, very, they're all very unique. And then, So this is, you know how it's kind of entwined? Because their tentacles are like that. Like, they don't really care about their tentacles. It doesn't sting them. Very long. And then remember to always follow your lines. And you don't have to. But I like to, it helps like making it look more exotic looking beautiful isn't it and it doesn't have to be perfect as you can see mine is not perfect and that's great nothing's perfect kind of should look like this well i take that back it should look like this and So they have like stingers, kind of like ha tiny hairs on their tentacles that um, sting a lot. So yeah, you kind of want it to make it drifting, like drifty, drifty, drifty. So 
yeah, that's, so yeah. And then just let it dry and it'll look something like this. Doesn't need to be these colors like I, like I said, but it's, it's still beautiful and that's what matters. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to click on the thumbs up button. Bye.